when dusk sets, worries mount. Many people are afraid and wonder if they will see the next day amid continued death and displacement of civilians. The violent conflict between the ruling Sudan People's Liberation Army and the rebel group thought to be led by the former president, Riyak Machar, broke out about two weeks ago. It has left over 500 dead and about 80,000 people displaced, the UN estimates. But 35-years-old Mary, a mother of three, says she will not leave her home. She says although she is afraid of death, she will stay and die right here in her home in Yei County. Despite the increasing intensity of the violence, Mary is optimistic she will see New Year. Yei is located about 100 miles away from Juba, the capital of South Sudan, where the violence erupted and spread to other places of the country. Mary's optimism comes from the fact that both religious and political leaders in her county are devoted to seeing peace prevail, at least in Ye. Nobody is allowed to carry guns. If anybody is carrying guns, please, we shall get rid of you and we are not interested in that. Only authorized persons are allowed to carry guns. Please, uh, we need you to listen to this and we need our people who are enforcing the laws to take this one seriously. That anybody. The mayor and her colleague, the Commission of Ye County have repeatedly urged the leaders at all levels to embark on promoting strategies of attaining peace in the county. With one accord, leaders of different tribes and religions have responded to the call. The violent conflict is believed to have been sparked by the internal misunderstandings within the ruling party, SPLM. But still, some analysts say it is a tribal conflict a claim government representatives have repeatedly refuted. On the eve of Christmas, the bishop of the Episcopal Presbyterian Church in South Sudan went around the town of Ye spreading a message of peace. To show solidarity, he paid a visit to the mayor with words of encouragement on the same subject. They are all tribes in Ye. Name them Dinka, Nuer, Zande, Bari, all corners of southern Sudan are in Ye. The fact that you are able to stand strong to make peace among all those tribes in Ye and to make sure that we celebrate Christmas without any problem, that is why the Evangelical Presbyterian Church wants to pay you a 10 minutes visit to congratulate you and to pray with you and to leave the blessing. The bishop and his team waved white flags representing peace that he wants to see. He believes the war will end soon. But it is very hard for people like Mary to believe such words. She knows it is just a matter of time until the war reaches her home area. My name is Ochan Hannington, reporting for the Niles, Yei, Central Victoria State, South Sudan.